Hey, what's going on? Charlie here. I'm Jean. Thanks for tuning in to another multicasting episode. Today we have with us from BR Distillery in, in uh, Tennessee, Single Barrel Reserve Blue Note Straight Bourbon Whiskey Barrel Proof. Nine years old, one, two, three point nine proof. Nice. Uh, this is a 61.95 ABV batch number two if you need it um batch number two batch number two mash bill is 84 percent corn eight percent rye eight percent malted barley okay uh they have three versions of this they have the uh, blue note uh juke joint blue note single barrel and then the the um uh, burr proof i've never heard of them well yeah because they make river set rye we've had them have the distillery before hmm. so there you go Ooh, hello. Caramel heavy. Yeah. Heavy caramel. Uh -huh. Ooh, a nice um not a smoke, but you know I get the, I get the smoke. Okay. Yeah. There's a twinge of heavy caramel smoke. Yes, it's it's smoky caramel. Oak. Uh nine years old. Wow. And for a what I say, sixty-one, almost a, pretty much a sixty-two. It's a sixty-one nine five ABV. Uh, first of all, I'm a fan of barrel proofs. Who isn't, right? Ooh, that is dark caramel for sure. Yeah, it's like mm. a dark chocolate married a caramel, and then they had children, and then those children decided they want to be whiskey for their career. And then they got into our glass. Yeah. Exactly what I was thinking. Oh yeah, of course, yeah. <laughs> um, there's a bit of spice there. I was thinking like bubble gum, like um, I mean, just if you if you separate the caramel out. Yeah, yeah. And then um, you know, like that like pouch of gum, like. Big league chew. That's the one. Big league flavor and big league bubble. You're into big league chew. But see, I was gonna go with another old school bubble gum. I was gonna go with Bazooka Joe. That great bazooka chase. <laughs> those crazy bazooka Joe and his gang coming. Oh, oh I God. forgot about those. They had the little cartoons in them. Uh, yes, had the cartoons in them, and then but they always had this weird coating, like the white coating on the bazooka Joe bubble gum. This is the the chalky bubble gum dust from bazooka Joe. Mic drop. That's very specific. <laughs> Just go with it. <laughs> but yeah, Bazooka Joe. Yeah, Bazooka Joe always had the cartoons in it. Little comic book. Maybe I get now some, uh, you know, like the malted, uh, the chocolate malted, uh, the milk. Oh, uh, milk dead. No, uh, not milk dead. Whoppers. Whoppers, yeah. Yeah, there's whoppers. And there's also some heavy dust. Mm-hmm. What do they got going on in Tennessee? Dang, I don't know. This is a nose for noses. And this series is aged 9 to 15 years. We have the young end on 9 year. Hmm. I wonder what a 15. If this one does a 9, what's it doing 15? Boy, I tell you. Boy, I tell you. Oh, and this also, uh, a little bit rare for us, this is a level 4 char. Most what things. That, what does that mean? Well, most things like our, our barrel that we're barreling for ourselves has a level 3 char, which means they burn the inside of the barrel for 40 seconds on a level 3. And it brings out the wood sugars. Huh. This is a level four, which they burn longer. I don't know how long, but I know it is longer. <sighs> but I can get some char now. May I have just talked myself into yeah, it. Maybe. But it's like the sugar from the wood more than the char itself. I get it like a buttery walnut. <sighs> I'm gonna see what it does above the glass. I've been going in rather than. We've gotten lucky. The last several barrel proofs we've had. Mm. We just dive right into the nose. We don't have to back out at all from the ABV. Yeah. So we've got lucky some nice smooth barrel proofs. We sure learned our lesson on that triple low. Oh, triple down. Oh, I tell you. Yeah, we don't, look, actually legit learned a lot about <laughs> light whiskey and how that's a whole category. Didn't hmm. we learned a lot in that episode. <laughs> now I'm getting some more chalk up top here, about an inch or two off the nose or off the glass. Oh, I'm gonna have a go in. Yeah. Yeah, I can't wait. What? 
So. Pepper dance, pepper dance. Wow. Pepper, pepper, pepper. So, the first thing that caught my attention was that 8% mm. rye was predominant on the taste, and it said, hi, here's a bunch of butter slabbed over our rye bread. I'm going to press that down on your tongue, but only for two seconds, and then I'm going to change. Huh. Yeah. Then it went to creamy, very, very sweet caramel. That's just drizzled in pepper, and it's all a concoction of loving goodness. Mmm, that is a caramel. You're gonna all step into the, the roller coaster and you gotta pop the caramels up. Wow. And then you go, and, and instead of going on a roller coaster, it drives you into Pepper City. And then in Pepper City, it just rains pepper. Mmm, caramels, peppers. Pepper City, Tennessee? Pepper City, Tennessee. Pepper City, Tennessee. Yeah. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start out with one drop. I may have a second drop here in a second. But on the I think this has for a nine year a very nice solid color. I can't even see this stick into the glass at all actually. Is it like eight percent rye in here? Eight percent rye, yeah. Huh. Drop of water brought out more more rye for me on the nose. This is not see if it's sticking to your glass at all. This has no legs on the glass. It's kind of like somebody like put nonstick butter on your frying pan and you put a bunch of eggs in there. Oh, on my glass. Is it okay? What's wrong with your glass? It's in there. You just get you blind, boy. Maybe I'm blind. I'm getting more sugar. I get more rye. Well, what more do you mean more by more dill. rye? You get dill? You get dill. I get dill. See, I don't get dill. Sage, thyme, dill. So allspice? That's not an all spice. That's not an all spice. No. I said no if you're gonna name all spices. Cause you're on a roll. Time to go solo rolling. I won't finish the song. Thank you. <clears throat> Pepper, cinnamon, spearmint, clove. All on the mm -hmm. forefront now. Mm. Which I didn't get without water. Mid palate is sparky. Sparky. Mid palate is caramel and rye notes. You're right. Finish. Let's go back to that last thing that you said. Finish. Right before that. Right. <laughs> um, man, this is a gorgeous dram. This is really good. Yeah. I can see actually this has the same car car caramel, caramel, whatever, how you want to say it, um, notes as the Elijah Craig, but it, it, doesn't, it doesn't own it as much as Elijah Craig. I can see similarities between this and Elijah Craig, barrel proof. I'm doing another drop. Another hefty. If you've had a BR distillery, yeah, yeah, if you've had a BR distillery product, or if you've had this blue note or a different blue note, let us know down in the comments. I'm curious to see what you thought of it. So yeah, I'm gonna have a second note. This is a 62, doesn't at all, well, 61.95. Doesn't at all come off cross like that. There's no burn. No. There's no Kentucky burn. hug, as they call it. You wanna, do you need a hug? Well, if we were Kentucky, no. We're not. We're not. Yeah, even more rye I'm getting now on the nose. I'm getting more of the Elijah Craig caramel influence on the nose now. Now that I've, I've said that, this comes across the same oakiness and caramel as Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. Hmm. I mean, I get the caramel that you're talking about. It's about, we can pour a drop, we can pour a small dram. I guarantee you're getting, it's the same caramel dustiness as Elijah Craig. Now, Elijah Craig is better because of other issues, other, not issues, other flavor profiles that it carries, but caramel, same. I think this has more rye influence than Elijah Craig does. I think Elijah Craig is a higher rye. But I on on the nose, I smell I'm getting more rye on yes, the nose you might than do I that, do yeah. for Elijah Craig. And only eight percent. Good for you, wow. Master Distiller, mm -hmm. BR Distillery. Good for you. Good good match bill. Okay. More rye, you're right. The rye is coming out as you add water. Mm. The, the sweetness of the corn. It was phenomenal in this. Man, that is good stuff. Um, 
I'm, I'm, I'm teetering on one number on the last digit. I'm going to let you have yours just for a half a second. Hmm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm actually going to go higher than what I thought. 92, what'd you do, Gene? I did 92. Did you really? Yeah. We haven't been. We haven't, been, huh. we haven't been the same in a while. No, it's definitely not. It's mm mm mm. It's mm mm goodness. Is that a two? That's a two. When I saw your two, I'm like, I better point out to her this is it's like a two. It with looks a, like an H. It's a two with a handlebar mustache. It's nine H. I don't know what that means. Oh, I see you said H. Now it's a nine H. <laughs> uh, so yeah, now a, a very a whole oh. new scoring process. It is a whole new scoring process. Mm -hmm. Um, there's no question for you there, Gene. Mm -hmm. Is it worth it? Fifty-six. Really? Yeah. Hell yeah, it's Hell worth it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, one of these folks. Fifty-six. 56. Really? That's like getting Elijah Craig barrel proof. For the MSRP, which is 59 or 69, one of the two. Anyway, yeah, worth it. Get this now before it jacks up in price, folks. Wow, really? Yeah. This has a January shot of being in my top 10 at, in come December. Oh, yeah, it's, it's delightful. If you, especially if we have some sort of weird episode where we put price. You're a mathematician, so if you want to build an algorithm that does price versus taste versus score. I'll get right on that. Yeah, get on that. <laughs> uh, this has a shot of being in some January episode, folks. So, wow. Hmm. Highly impressed. Um, I don't forget my score of the Riverset Rye, which is from the same distillery, but they don't uh, they don't say who sources, or I think it's a sourced for that rye. This home run. Mm, yeah. This, Easy. This this is yum yum. Good job, BR Distillery. Mm -hmm. Well done, you. Do you have anything to add, Jean? That's a professional word, yum yum. Did you say that? I must have been talking as you were saying. Did you say yum yum again? I did. <sighs> I don't know. Good job. <laughs> folks. So maybe I need to second guess myself when I ask if you have anything to add. Yum yum. Yum yum, folks. I'm Charlie. And I'm Jean. And I hope you're just as thirsty as we are. Yeah, <laughs>